Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to a, um, I wouldn't say baby class. It's like a baby group that's been organised by a few mums in my area. Um, they've like hired like a little um, room um, for like £2.50 each. <laughs> um, they've bought like tea, coffee, um, <laughs> they've bought tea, coffee, biscuits and obviously hired the room so you just pay £2.50 and you just go and sit and chat to other mums and I went last week and it was really 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 nice so I'm going to go again this week but I'm going to take a new mum because part of the Yana campaign I am trying my hardest not only to get myself out there but to get other mums out there so I put on Facebook a big post about it and was like if anybody wants to join me I'm happy to give a lift and this lady can't drive so um, well, I don't think she can or well, maybe she can I don't think she can. <laughs> um, so I said I'd give her a lift anyway um, with her baby and we're gonna go there now. And they did say I'm okay to vlog there last week so um, I may film a little bit while I'm there. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Jacob! Hello sweetheart. Are we gonna smile? He knows the camera's there. <laughs> He's like no. No. Harry. Put your tail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, careful, Harry. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Is that in there? Oh, 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 that's good timing. <laughs> Ellie, you're on camera. <laughs> that was good timing. Nationwide. She looks really like confused. Is that you? Hi! Hiya! Are you gonna smile? No? No? Oh, he's just chilling with his Peppa Pig book. Are you having a nice time? Are you having a nice time, baby? Look at those little shoes. How cute are they? Harry's found a girlfriend. Have <laughs> oh, you found a girlfriend? He <laughs> just sits really slouched. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> He's really looking at her like... <laughs> she knows. It's so lovely seeing him interact with other babies. He's not normally like into other babies, he doesn't normally like pay attention to them, but now he's really interactive with them. Harry! <laughs> Are you alright? Are you cool? <laughs> he's even got a quirky tongue out. <laughs> I like how he's just leaving them on. He's quite happy. <laughs> he's just looking over the top of them. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's just filming them up in the window because every time I come home, they're there like watching out of the window waiting for me to come in. I've just got home and this is the carnage I've got home too. And <laughs> looks like that's what the dogs have done. They haven't. It's uh, this morning Harry was playing with his toys and he just had to like spread them everywhere. And that was actually a carrier bag that Archie seems to have destroyed while I've been out. And he's got the talcum powder out. Other than that, all toys. <laughs> you know when your house is a mess but you just cannot be asked. Like I've got crap over there. I've got a laundry basket that's full. I've got like baby wipes. Plastic bag, toys, walker, everything's out. I've got a cup of tea and a can of Pepsi there. What else have I got? The kitchen's probably a mess. Actually no, the kitchen, the kitchen's not too bad. We have some letters, baby milk, dog food tins. Oh dear. I'm such a scaff sometimes. I just can't be asked. But I know I have to before Harry comes back. So I'm gonna walk the dogs, have a quick tidy up and then go out and get the baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
These two get so excited to go for a walk, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, talking about mess that I keep ignoring. That's been there a week. That's just like clothes from when my mum looked after Harry at the weekend. And yeah, I was supposed to take upstairs a week ago. And it's still there. <laughs> I've actually moved their dog toys out here as well because Harry keeps trying to eat them. Now he can crawl. I don't actually think I've shown him crawling properly yet. So when I go back to my mum's, I'll see if I can capture him doing it. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Archie, you idiot. I can't believe I was filming that. He just, just rolled in fox poo, I think. Arch, come here. You haven't, have you? Oh, you're such a stinker. Now I have um, mud and paw prints all over the carpet. Guys. Guys. I just said I'm lacking cleaning motivation. So why you do this? Ugh. And yes, he did roll in fox poo because he absolutely smells like ass. Oh my god. It's going kennels tomorrow, so I don't know if it's really worth washing him because he always comes home smelling of pee when he's been in kennels. Then I don't really want him wiping fox poo scent all over my house, so I think I might have to. Too late. Archie, really? Really? What are you doing? Now my whole sofa's gonna smell like fox poo. You're an idiot. What are you doing? <laughs> Actually, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Fantastic. I'm just gonna feed these now and then I'm gonna go pick Harry up. I'm home from my mum's now. I went to pick Harry up and then realised I didn't actually... Oh, I didn't actually vlog anything. <laughs> I'm the worst. Um, yeah, we went to Tesco, and while I was all oh, blue, <laughs> I'm blue. Da, 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 da. Oh, actually, I'm just stood near the door, and it's like that time almost. Um, yeah, I went to Tesco with my mum, and I almost took my camera, but no one needs to see me shopping in Tesco. It's boring. <laughs> Got Harry some bits for the weekend because we're going, like I said, we're going to my nana granddad's. So I've bought him some pouches. I've got some babies and some Ellie's Kitchen pouches because I just think it's easier for when I'm going away. And then I've bought some other bits and bobs. I needed to buy him some new trousers. Actually, I'll show you what I've got. I've just come down to make myself a brew. Harry's in bed. This is what I bought. Hang on. Um, I need to actually get these in the fridge because I've been home quite a while now. We've got some cheese. So I was thinking for Harry, um, he'd probably love um, little bits of cheese just broken up into pieces. Um, I've got these for me, which is also cheese, which is really, really bad. I should not have these at Tesco. Focus. These spicy cheddar cubes, and they are so good. They do smoky ones as well, but I've bought Edam. Ooh, I bought Edam and um, spicy this time. Um, I bought him some, I should really have like cleared some sides for this. I bought him some Fruity Puffs, some big Petit Falou because he started to want the big ones now. Um, Milky Bar, um, they're mainly for me but Harry does like them on an odd occasion. <laughs> and I got some veggie risotto, some banana biscotti because he absolutely loves these so they're, very, they're a very good distraction when we're out and about and he wants just a little snack. Some breadsticks for Harry, some pegs, which is very exciting. <laughs> um, what else did I get? Some apple and raspberry rice cakes for Harry. I'm gonna sort all these out after because I'm gonna take most of this with me. Veggie straws, my mum bought him these the other day and he really, really likes them. They are for nine months plus, but I've never noticed them before because I never really look in the older baby section, but now I can and he loves them. So, baby clothes wise, I'll just move this down here because I ain't got no space. Got some new socks because he is in dire need of socks. Um, I bought him a little t shirt which is really cool. What's it called? Ombre? Is that like ombre? I don't know. I don't know if that's what it's called. Um, this little top with a lion on it. How cute. Um, can't get in the bag. Yeah, trousers. That's what I went for and ended up doing like half a bloody shop. 
Because um, <laughs> he has no trousers that fit his long legs because he has really long legs. And these are just a two pack of basic joggers because they go with most of his tops and that's just the kind of style I put him in. They look really big. Have I really got a baby that big? And nine to 12 months because most of his um, are six to nine but he's almost 10 months now so. I bought him some stripy joggers and I bought him some more joggers which have just got a stripe on the bottom. I don't like those ones as much as the others but it's just handy to have a lot of trousers so yeah that was basically what I got and just some other bits it's just, just mainly fruit and veg and more baby food. What else did I get? Hang on a sec. I, got, I think I got two two babies and I got a selection of Ella's Kitchen because they were on offer. So babies, I got quinoa, beetroot, butternut squash and kidney beans. Ella's Kitchen, cottage pie, pumpkin, chickpea and tomato uh, tomato and brown rice. And then we got Mexican chicken, cheese pie and Jamaican curry pork. So I've got myself a good little collection I think. So I'm just making myself a tea. So I can go up and upload my London Marathon vlog because I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday because Harry Harry was a bit of a nightmare yesterday. Um, I was, I was going to tell you about it. In fact, I, should, I probably will. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been having... It's just I'm thinking, like, I don't know how long this vlog's going to be. Um, yeah, basically, um, the last few days and nights, he's been a bit difficult. But he was teething, but his teeth have come through now, so I thought that that was going to be the end of it. But no, I don't. he doesn't seem to be in pain. He's, he's, he's okay, he's just sort of clingy. So we've had cowpaw, we've like tried everything, and nothing seemed to be really working. He was just, he's just really, really clingy, really. But then at night, he will not go to sleep. And um, I've been having problems with him a while. Um, mainly um, problems with, oh, I don't need to take his bottle up. He won't drink his bottle um, until like nine, 10 o'clock, which is an absolute pain in the ass. Sorry, I'm really dark, but I haven't got, oh, hang on, can I put the light on? There we go. <laughs> yeah, he won't sleep at night at all. <clears throat> and it's becoming a bit of an issue. Um, he like wakes up about, to be fair, he wakes up quite a lot before like one o'clock, which isn't too bad because um, that's before I go to bed anyway. Um, but every time I move, he wakes up. So I've been trying to put him, because you, you know, I said before, he wasn't in his room. Well, I've been trying to put him in his room and he will not go down in the cot. Like the second his head touches the cot, he's wide awake. So it's becoming an issue him being in our bed because we can't speak, we can't breathe without him waking up. Okay, Harry woke up as I was talking. Um, feeding and filming wasn't really going very well, so about an hour has passed now, because it takes about an hour for me to um, hold him to sleep and then put him down without him waking up, so that's my issues at the minute. <laughs> um, I don't know where I got to. I think I was saying, I should have just watched the footage what I said. Um, <laughs> I can't remember, I'm, I've lost. Um, but yeah, um, basically what I was trying to say is that he's just been having um, really bad sleep at the minute and I don't know what's causing it, but um, I had a bit of a meltdown last night because Damien's away so I have to do it all alone, which I'm not complaining about as such because I know that there's people a lot worse off than me. People with a lot worse sleep problems and people with um, no husband at all or um, boyfriend or whatever. Some people do have to do it alone all the time, so I do appreciate that um but well, not out for a but yeah i was just you know like when you're just really really struggling and that, it was just going on for hours i was trying to i was trying to film a video that didn't go to plan i think that's what i was saying is that i put it on instagram um I put on Instagram a picture of me because i just done my makeup and i was like i'm gonna film some videos i'm like pumped i'm ready to go and then harry um, didn't sleep and he just kept waking up waking up waking up so I gave in and I ended up crying all my makeup off and then um, just because I was already on Instagram I just um, did like a story um, about what was happening in that moment I'll show you in a sec and some people will probably think I'm really weird for showing something like that um, <laughs> I probably am 
but I don't know, I just think that I just feel sometimes, am I the only one that's going insane? Am I the only one that has crying meltdowns and sometimes just like storms out of the room and bloody sits and cries into a pillow because I'm having like the worst time? And don't get me wrong, I don't do that every night. I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not crazy. But I do have days where I really can't cope and I just think, what the hell, like, am I the only one? And the reason I think that is because no one ever really talks about it. No one ever really like posts about it. No one like says, you know, how tough it really is sometimes so I cried on my Instagram stories and I had so so many lovely uh, messages and stuff um, which is really nice so and a lot of and 99% of the people in fact all of them <laughs> all of the people said that they've been in the same boat and they've had um, meltdowns they've cried they've like shouted they've just, you know got really like upset so yeah it made me feel so much better that I'm not alone because um, yeah, that's how I feel sometimes. I feel that do other people get this or is it just me? Or am I just not coping? Um, I did consider talking to somebody because I'm just I just feel sometimes it doesn't take a lot for me to get really upset at the minute and I don't know if that's just with Damien being away. Damien's always been away though, I don't I don't know. Or oh, is it just normal? Am I, are you supposed to get like this in the first year of having a baby? See, I'm not naive. I know that like it's gonna get a lot worse. He's gonna be a toddler one day. He's gonna be able to run. He's gonna be able to run from me. He's gonna have tantrums. And I think as you as you grow, um, as your baby grows, you grow more as a mother. And I think you learn more um, to cope with these things. So I do think that the first year is tough. <laughs> Definitely. Come on. Up. I forgot I'd left Archie out in the rain. Sorry, baby. So yeah, um, I'll show you my story. I think it's gonna disappear in like. I don't know, an hour. <laughs> really embarrassing to watch back but yeah that was my situation last night tonight he's gone to bed without a fight really he's been up once when I was feeding him before but other than that he's, he's been okay so I had a lovely chat with a lady called Lisa Dixon who um, she watches my videos sometimes and she I see her comment on quite a lot of like mum channels and stuff and she has older older children they're not that old I mean I think her daughter's 16 I'm not sure but yeah because she's got um, older kids um, it was nice talking to her last night because, you know, she was able to give me um, some advice and she's really, really lovely and told me that things will get better and, yeah, <laughs> so cheered me up a bit. And Harry ended up sleeping in bed with me last night because I just gave in with the cot because it just wasn't happening last night. And I think sometimes you've just got to do what you've got to do to get sleep. So, yeah, I've been talking for a long, long time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to go to bed now because I've probably got like an hour long vlog here and it's gonna take me forever to like edit all my bloody waffling down. <laughs> so good night and I will see you tomorrow when I drive to Lancashire. Lancashire? Lancashire. Um because I'll probably vlog my day then I think. Yes I will. <laughs> Alright, bye.